This test has been requested by Alarm Collector 330. So, Alarm Collector 330, you're going to be very happy that I'm doing this. Alright, so I'm in the panel right now, and I'm going to disconnect one of the sirens because I don't want to uh, scare anyone. So, Bell positive. Bell negative is supposed to be supervised, but I honestly doubt that. I don't even understand how the supervision on a non-addressable system even works. So this works. So one of them is for the gonna disconnect this one. Oh, wrong one. Uh, this one. And we don't want to short this, so. Everything should be fine. I'll probably run upstairs and get a smaller screwdriver next time. So one of the bell negatives have been disconnected. There are two bell positives, but one of those is disconnected, and that can be found here. Uh, that way, uh, I don't scare anyone that's upstairs, because I don't really tell people that I'm testing the security system, but yeah. I'll only be testing the basement portion anyway, so you'll be hearing this, which is over here. Uh, this is an ATW MS-10, I think? I don't know. But uh, it's an ATW siren speaker, so yeah. Uh, bypassing the upstairs zones because they're, those are zones one to five. Because we have people upstairs and I don't want them to set off the alarm, so. All right, the bypass light is flashing, so we're gonna do one, bypass, two, bypass, three, four, five. And we can't bypass number eight because that's a smoke detector. See? See, it just flashes it. Yeah. And then we just push pound. And yeah. Let's go. We'll go with stay, no delay. Instant light is on, arm light is on, so just wait and see. This here is zone six, by the way. Gotta wait for the exit delay. Okay, we're clear. Okay, three, two, one. Push cancel. Uh, usually, if there, if it were programmed to the cancel to cancel, uh, once you enter in a code, uh, it will turn on and send a report to the central monitor monitoring station. Uh, but this is not programmed to turn on cancel. So yeah, right, now we're gonna do this in exit. So all right, so we're gonna bypass. Program this so that you have to enter the code each time you want to bypass. And then we're just gonna bypass. All right, really, just any other button except for any numerical key will do. Uh, so yeah, panic buttons are in use. Oh, that's new. The older models say emergency auxiliary, but well, let's go do this. I'll just be waiting here on the couch. It's more comfortable. Nine, eight, one, five, seven, two, six, four, three.
Here we go. There you go. That's the security system. One last thing. So fun. Time turned on. Some of these, uh, I'll have to demonstrate later, but you could program these so uh, where it's going to be, uh, where you can uh, have it do a single chirp instead of an actual ding dong sound. Well, next up, fire zone. I'm in the middle of editing this, and I realized that I have not really recorded the screen of this, of the security system. Actually, And there we go, now we have some light. And crap, I have glare. Well, dang it, time to turn it off. Okay, well, yeah, that didn't work so well. Oh, and you may be wondering why, this is actually after I took the video, and right now I'm editing it because I'm on a hurricane holiday. But you're probably wondering why the power light is like flashing right now, very, very, very slowly. That simply means that the battery is just charging. Uh, we've been through a, a pretty big power outage and uh, yeah, so we're just gonna, by the way, I'm downstairs, so it's gonna be a little different, actually. Oh, hey, we have kind of have one. Uh, just check in. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be opening the door and I'm gonna let you see what the screen looks like when the Security system goes off. So, three, two, one. Yeah, so there you have it. And I'm home around, alone right now, so I'm using the security system anyway. Ha. Huh. So, yeah. Alright, so. Here's the i3, if this will focus well. Actually, I don't know if this would be any better. Yeah, it works better. But, uh, all right. So we all know that we could use this button, but how about why adopt the detector, actually? You'll hear this one go off. I had this disconnected during the security system test, but yeah. All right, let's do this. Come on. This does not have verification turned on. Okay. Alright, the fire zone's on. I'm gonna give it a minute to clear out. Give it a minute to clear out, so it doesn't go off again or cause any troubles. I don't know how much hurts this uh, siren outputs, but yeah, give it a little. Actually, I wonder if I could take the head off and blow it out myself. Come on. Ah, oh, oh, crap. Yeah, I can't really do it right now. Alright. Let's reset everything. Should take a bit to reset. Alright. Three, two, one. Takes about one minute to fully power on. It shuts off the circuit for a bit and then everything resets. Okay, that's straight. I, I gotta take out the detector, blow it, blow it out. Right. Oh, dig it. Never 
take it off the detector head before. Hmm. Come on. Uh. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Give me a moment. Oh look, look what's inside. System sensor I3, 4WB, for electric detection principle. <laughs> Ew, that's disgusting. The buggy in there. <laughs> oh cool, so it's a four wire I3, we have a uh, uh, these are the power, this is the alarm, the resi resistor on it. And this, guys, is how you correctly wire up a end-of-line resistor. You're supposed to have it at the end of a circuit. Because everything run runs in a series, I think. Yeah, everything's supposed to run in a series or else I get an over, uh, over current trouble. But you have a resistor on these two. Let's get this... Another blow. <sighs> All right, let's hope this does a real arm. There you go. All right, let's hope this. We don't get a real arm. All right, we got to reset. Oh, how interesting. Now it says zone 8 didn't has reset itself. 404, I think this was blinking. The fire condition, hit star 7. Set everything. Camera shake. Crap. Okay. I think we're all done. much more sweaty than I needed to, but here we are. Well, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.